Ah, look at that. It's beautiful. Almost brings a tear to my eyes. Because this is my first ever ThinkPad, the ThinkPad T420. T420, make all the jokes you want. But this is probably one of the best thing pa actually let's say the best thing pad for lots of people um, it is the best if you want a mid-size laptop and we'll go into the specifics but this thing I've had it for a couple of years now and it is the T420 is sort of at the sweet spot as far as thinkpads go because it is the first to have sort of the the modern processor the i7 i5 whatever the, mine has an i5 you can put i7s in these some come with i7s but it's also the last to preserve, you know, the classic ThinkPad stuff, the, the classic design, uh, the keyboard, stuff like that. So for a lot of people, this is going to be the perfect sweet spot, the T420. Okay, so let me go ahead and tell you my experience with this machine. I got it a couple of years ago. This was, again, my first ThinkPad. Still have emotional attachment to it. I don't use it as a daily driver anymore. I actually have started using the X-Series. So actually, let me... This is about the size of an X-Series laptop. In fact, it's exactly the size of an X-Series laptop. You'll see that uh, it's a good bit smaller. So the T-Series is supposed to be a full-size laptop, but it does come with perks, and I'll go into those in a second. But I'll just say, like any other ThinkPad, this thing is miraculously durable. Um, you'll actually notice on this side, I uh, the cover of my hard drive uh, is actually gone. Uh, that's because I sort of cracked it a couple months ago, and I've never actually replaced it. I don't use this thing too often. I mostly test my Arch boot, uh, bootstrapping scripts on it. Um, but um, So I, I had this little bumble when I was running to a meeting with this thing. And I had it in my hand, and I was just going as fast as I could. I wasn't really thinking. And I tripped and fell on my ass, and this thing slammed directly into the pavement. It was actually made a terrible sound. I was, I was like, oh, God, it's over. It's my poor ThinkPad. In fact, the, the CD drive went shooting out one side. I thought it was totally over. But I opened this thing up, and uh, the, really the only thing, the CD drive slides right back in. No problem. Really, the only thing that was broken is the little cover on this hard drive. Uh, sometime I, sometimes I actually keep it on there. Um, it sort of stays on, but uh, I need to get a replacement. But the, that should be a testament to the durability of this computer, because this thing took a direct hit straight on the pavement, going as fast as I was falling. Uh, just, you know, it was pathetic, actually. Um, but uh, thankfully, no one saw that. Um, but this thing really took no scuffs whatsoever. Oh, this isn't a scuff. That's actually a yogurt stain. That's another... Probably should have cleaned that up before, but don't worry about it. But this thing is so consistent. Um, so, like any other ThinkPad, you're going to have that. But let's go into the specifics of uh, this kind of thing. So again, as I said, I used to use this as a daily driver. It was my first ThinkPad, my main machine. Uh, so it is definitely usable, uh, usable um, as that. But let's go into the specifics. Again, this is the T-Series. It's a little bigger than the X-Series. These are 14-inch, uh, these are I think. I'm pretty sure that's it. Um, so pretty consistent. I mean, here's my hand for comparison. So it's basically a full-size keyboard. Um, you do have uh, the screen resolution is 1600 by 900. Um, so it's not 1080p, but, uh, you know, for doing basically everything you do on a laptop, it's extremely consistent. And even though I like the X series and I use it, you know, that's my sort of favorite series, you know, since they're a little more portable, there are huge benefits to having the T series just because... It's easier when you have multiple windows up, you tiled them together, like screen real estate on the X series, it, it isn't, it's good, but it's not as good as the, the T series. So that's uh, one uh, good point. And of course you have all the classic ThinkPad uh, benefits, the keyboard, the uh, ThinkLight up there, let me turn it on. Yeah, the think light, which you can't really see because it's light out, but uh, very nice for lighting things up in the most you know simple way. And of course, you have the trackpad and the track point, which uh, or excuse me, the track point and the trackpad. And I always tell people, um, you know, if you have the option of a track point, use it. You will never go back to a trackpad because it's so annoying typing and then going down to the trackpad and then going up. You know, you once you start using the track point, you'll never go back. Okay, so anyway. Screen resolution, that separates it from the, the, the X-Series. The other thing, the nice thing about this and ThinkPads generally is the modularity in that like one screw separates you and your hard drive. One screw separates you and your RAM. So you can easily make modifications, easily update parts. It's really nice having that. 
Um, and the other thing uh, that makes this a little different from the X series is it has its own DVD drive. Um, and that's, you know, the X series doesn't come with that. Um, so if you want to get DVD drives on a computer like that, what you have to do is get a, actually, I think I have one over here. You have to get one of these ultra bases, uh, which come uh, with these extra DVD drives. But the thing is, you can actually get one of these for this. So you can have two DVD drives, which might sound totally stupid, and it is stupid, but it's not stupid when you realize that you can replace both of those with hard drives. So you can actually take this thing out. Um, I think there's a latch back here. You can unlatch that and pull it out, and you can just put in a, uh, a, a caddy for another hard drive, you could do the same if you have a dock. So you could really have three hard drives on this one computer. Um, so that is really nice having. I haven't done it myself on this model. I do it on other ThinkPads, but uh, yeah, this is that's something really nice to have if you just want to have a, por a portable machine that you can have a bunch of your data on. This is a fantastic option. The, so that's something to look in. A computer that can take three hard drives. That's pretty impressive. Um, so I'm not going to go around and autistically show you all the ports just because you can probably figure them out. It has USB, three of them, I think. Um, it has, it doesn't have HDMI, it does have VGA, and it does have DisplayPort. And of course, pretty sure you can get a DisplayPort HDMI adapter, so that's, uh, you know, no big problem. Uh, I mean, it's not like you're going to, this isn't a Mac, you're not going to get dongled. You don't, you, it has pretty much everything, but aside from the HDMI, that's really the only thing uh, I think it lacks. Um... So aside, I, I will say there are, I do have some minor annoyances, well really just one, okay? And that is, you, there are these screen notif notifiers here, so there's Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, and uh, hard drive access. Um, one of the things, let me open up this X-Series, because this is an older one here. Um, the older series had battery notifications, or like if your machine is plugged in. I sort of wish the T420 had that, it doesn't. That's a little unfortunate. It's not just this, it's all the later models. For whatever reason, I mean, the one thing I want to look at here is my battery and if I'm actually plugged in. I mean, I'm going to have this in my OS anyway, but sometimes if I'm in the TTY or if I'm just not paying attention, it's nice having a little light that turns orange if it's, uh, you know, running out of battery or something like this. They do have a battery notification light, but it's on the back side, and that has always confused me because... Unless this thing is plugged up, I mean, if it's closed and plugged up, you're never going to see that. And in that case, you're probably going to know if it's firmly plugged in. Uh, I just wish they had that on the front side. It, it just sort of vexes me why that's the case. But, you know, sometimes they make dumb design decisions. Uh, but as I said, that little nitpick aside, um, really the T420 is at the pinnacle of ThinkPad glory for this, especially if you're, you just want a, a machine that can function like a modern computer. It can ha take a modern processor. Oh, uh, RAM, I'm pretty sure this thing, it can at least take 16 gigs. It might be able to take uh, 32. You might want to look that up yourself. I'm not entirely sure. Um, but uh, as, as far as like a computer that has the classic style and has sort of the, the modern perks, the T420 is honestly one of the best computers that you can possibly get. Um, if you want this full-size computer, um, the T420 is exactly what you want. It is the computer to get. I mean, the reason people, you know, do these reviews, it's not so much so you can learn more, it's for me to vouch for it. And I totally vouch for this thing. It's fantastic. Now, if you want something that's a little bit smaller, you might want to get a X220, which is the thing I have over there, uh, which I have videos on. Um, it's really, it was released at about the same time as this, it's just a little smaller. Um, so you might want to look into that, but of course this has, again, has the perk of the greater resolution, the extra hard drive, uh, stuff like that, that you can put in. Um, so all in all, this computer is pretty fantastic. I totally recommend it if you're trying to, you're sort of racking your brain for what kind of, uh, you know, ThinkPad you, sh you should get. The only downside is what I said in uh, my previous video on ThinkPads, that is, as of right now, as of, you know, December 13th uh, of uh, 2017, there is not yet a, uh, uh, a bypass of the Intel management engine. Now, that might come soon, but those of you who are concerned with totally free software, the, uh, the T420 isn't the best 
because there is not an exploit of the Intel management engine, so you can't have Libre Boot. Although I'm pretty sure you can have Core Boot on this thing. It's just you're going to have that management engine. Um, but uh, anyway, for most people, that doesn't matter, though. But I'll, So I'll just say this computer's fantastic. You should check it out. Uh, but that's about it. Leave some comments if you have any, and I'll see you guys next time.